Hello Youtubers, this is going to be a movie about a Bible that I bought and uh, about a project that I have. For some time now, I was looking for an English Bible, a good English Bible, to write a book for my brothers in England and USA. Uh, I bought two editions so far, of which I was not very satisfied, and about three days before this Pashka, or Christian Passover, or Easter in English, uh, before this Easter, I found this guy who was selling old stuff, and among this old stuff, I found this uh, King James authorized version, a uh, letter letter, scholarly and library reference edition, a big book, a big bible, uh, for which he was asking something like uh, 7 or 8 dollars. For my project, uh, my project of which I'm going to speak very soon, it is essentially to have English books, uh, easy English books, uh, the kind of uh, books that you could find in any library, uh, books that I'm going to use for quotation. Therefore, I start uh, collecting English books, books uh, wrote in English, and of course I am very lucky because I have here close by an antique shop from which I can buy, let's say with uh, 3 or 4 dollars, uh, books, uh, books uh, wrote in English that they were not sold in the West, books as the one you can see in the video. Uh, most of these books are basically kids kind of uh, books, but I need uh, books that could be easy found uh, for anyone who could check my sources. Uh, this book has some very unique pictures with Muhammad. New religions, new age stuff. Taoism, uh, quite interesting. Buddhism. Hinduism, some book uh, for kids about the universe has some mistake in it. Now from the beginning when I was pulled into this debate with atheists, I wanted to write this book called The Icons of the Atheism, but today I think I have enough material to actually begin. Now, even if atheists usually claim they have a lack of belief, they don't believe in something, they just disbelieve in the claims made, you will be amazed, once you begin to analyze them, uh, how many common erroneous beliefs atheists share nowadays. For example, you may just meet this day some atheist kid who is going to tell you about the millions of atheists who they were killed by Inquisition while confessing the truth that there is no God. Or perhaps you, you may just meet someone who is going to tell you about uh, uh, the evil questions who will destroy the great library of Alexandria. Or also you may just meet someone who is going to tell you the story with the Dark Age. I personally remember about a year ago uh, I met some uh, atheist here on YouTube who was trying to convince me that uh, Galileo Galilei was burned at the stake by Inquisition. Now I do not want to say too much about my project yet, but so far I gather 101 icons of the atheist faith and I would like to gather about 1000.
Now, of course, as a historian, I have a lot of books. I mean, those few books in English that you have seen is not everything. But most of my books are in my own language, uh, on the history of my country and on the history of this part of Europe. Uh, therefore, I must build an entire new biography. So, uh, probably I will upload in the days to come uh, one or two videos when I'm going to present uh, the books that I bought and of course uh, I'm going to uh, wait for your opinion also. Now I am going to look a little over my Bible, uh, my new Bible, uh, my new old Bible that has a lot of extra stuff that I think I'm going to use in my book. Now here we have uh, an index. Now here is the date of a Christian Passover, the Easter, from 1921 until uh, 2000. Now here we have another index with the doctrines from the Bible. Now this part is uh, quite good, it has some answers to different questions. Now here we have some excuses that people could bring uh, on uh, refusing to talk about God. And here we have uh, pictures with different versions from different years of the Bible in English.
Here we could observe what Shakespearean or English and how much English has changed. So what is very interesting about this Bible is that it has articles about Palestine, about the climate in Palestine, about the geography of Palestine. So basically this Bible was published before the apparition of the Israel state. When I reached this last part of the Bible, I was thinking about how many things a good question needs to know. I mean, he needs to know about uh, the Jewish customs and traditions, about the religion in ancient Egypt, in Babylon, about uh, ancient Rome and ancient Greece, about the geography of the region, about history and so many other things. Now thank you for watching my video.